Okay guys, how's it going? Got another review for you today. And this is going to be kind of uh, like in between a review and a first impressions because I have smelled this a little bit, um, but not enough to do a full review. So I figured, what the hell, I'll just do like a in between. I'm excited to talk about it, I wanted to do a video, so. Today we're gonna do Ultramall by Jean-Paul Gaultier, or Ultramale, however you wanna pronounce it. Um, so recently I got a couple new decants that I'm excited about, I'm going to review for you. I got Ultramol, I got um, uh, YSL Loam, I got La Nuit de Loam, and I got um, Burberry London, which is my favorite. We all, You guys know that if you watch. Um, I got a couple uh, free samples too, but we'll talk about those later. So this was the one that I was the least excited about to try. I was excited about all of them, but nothing bad about this per se, I just... Well, this is at the bottom of my list of like really trying them out um, because I do like sweet fragrances and I like gourmands, but the others I was just more interested in. So this one I was like, I'll try that one the last. It might be a nice surprise. But the other day I was like, you know what? I'm just going to um, spray it in the air just to kind of get an like idea of what it smells like. And wow, I really like this. I like this. I'll tell you right now. So I've actually smelled this before um, only one time. I uh, just smelled it on a tester card at Macy's. I've never worn it on my skin. I never had a sample. So I've smelled it, but this is kind of a true, uh, not true, but like a first impressions kind of deal. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it on my skin. And I'll tell you that I've seen the notes for this, but I don't have them off the top of my head. And I figured uh, I'm just going to go with what I smell today. Um, these are, um, decants from the Decant Boutique. Really nice sprayers on them. So, Ultramol, the big, big top note in this one is pear, which is a, a note that, um, you know, again, I like sweet fragrances. I like gourmands, but I don't wear them as much as I want to. And I don't know if pear is one uh, note that comes up a lot. Uh, it's, I guess it's one that I don't necessarily find myself wearing in a lot of fragrances that I own. Um, but wow, this is making me fall in love with pear again. A, a juicy pear at the top. I'm going to warn you though, and I'm sure you all know by now that this is a very, very sweet fragrance. A lot of people have said this is like the new Clubbing King. It used to be 1 million. We had Versace Eros. And now like Ultra Mall is like the big Clubbing King. Those always tend to be very loud, sweet fragrances. This is extraordinarily sweet at the top. The first spray of this... I'm going to tell you right now, if you do not like sweet fragrances, skip this one. There, there's nothing you're going to find in this that you're going to like. It's just too sweet, going to be too sweet for you. Um, but if you're someone that enjoys that, give it a chance. The top, though, the top is a bit too sweet for me. What you get is a nice, juicy pear, but it comes off as um, people all often say bubblegum. You kind of get a bubblegum smell. What I actually get is more of like a, like a burnt sugar smell. Um, like a burnt sugary pear. In fact, it smells like it smells like um, like you know syrup that they use for snow cones, where they have that really concentrated syrup. It, it would smell like if you had a pear flavored syrup for a snow cone. That's what it smells like. And yes, it is actually that sweet. It is really that sweet. It's um, I guess you I guess I would say it's totally feminine at the top. I, I don't at the very first spray, the first minute or two. I don't really detect any masculinity in this fragrance at all. I would say it's totally perfumey in its nature. And yeah, you just get a extremely sticky, sweet, bubblegummy kind of pear. Um, I actually like the way it smells. I just think on my skin, it's way too much for me. It is way too sweet. In fact, I know a lot of women that will find this far too sugary for them at the top. However, as it starts to dry down, I would say like at the two minute mark, that's going to start to wane a little bit. It's always going to be a sweet pear, but you're going to start to get a, like, I guess I would say almost like a Lamal kind of DNA, like a, um, a woody vanilla. And there are a lot of notes I saw in this. Like there's some, you know, um, there's some cedar wood and patchouli and amber in the base and stuff like that. There's cinnamon and stuff in the mids, but I'm going to go with like the accords I smell. Let's say that I smell an accord of pear and I smell an accord of a woody vanilla. Those two together make a fragrance that, yes, is sweet, but has a, like, sort of w robustness to it, a sort of, like, happiness to it, 
a sort of uplifting kind of sense that I think is very well done and is very fit for the season of, of winter. I think that the Woody Vanilla Note in this is slightly different than Lamal, but definitely brings me back to the way that Lamal smells in the middle with that woody um, vanilla sort of cinnamon quality, like almost like a baking spice sort of way. Um, I start to get that, and that's what I really like. And perhaps it goes a little bit more in a masculine direction, but I'm going to tell you that I would just consider this a unisex fragrance throughout. I would consider this a gourmand. Um, I think that um, I wouldn't necessarily classify this as a male fragrance. It is. It's a male, like, Clubbing King fragrance. I just, I personally don't see that and would not classify it as such. But, so, again, I, I don't have a ton of experience with this, but as it dries down, a woody vanilla but with more vanilla than wood. And the vanilla is a little bit on the sweet side, and I talked about in my last review how I kind of like that middle ground vanilla where it's not too sweet and it's not too powdery. It's a little bit more in the middle. I think with Lamal, I get the middle ground vanilla that I tend to like that comes across more like baking spices or something. But with this, it's a little more on the sweet side. It, it smells almost like, like, a, um, like a candle or um, maybe like vanilla extract or something like that. And then I will say that later on in the dry down, you do get hints of the base. Like I do almost get a little bit of the patchouli coming through a little bit. Um, and I do tend to get more woods, but it's gonna retain those two accords essentially the whole time. So that's, that's all I have to, to really say in terms of how it smells. It's gonna be very, very sweet, like I said, very sickly sweet at the top, but then it's gonna it's gonna tone it back a bit. It's still gonna be an awfully sweet fragrance, though. But I'll tell you though, I don't really care. Um, like I said, a unisex sure, probably more of a perfume. Um, but you know, wear whatever you want. If you like a perfume, you wear it. If you're a girl and you like a cologne, you wear it. So yeah. Um, now this one has been known to be quite a atomic projector, uh, beastly performance. Um, I know it has been reformulated and I, I could be wrong. And oh, by the way, I haven't even said this one came out, I think in 2015. I think this was reformulated this year, if I'm correct. Um, I don't know too much about that. I will say that it doesn't, I would say that it doesn't project as much as I've heard people say. Perhaps that could be due to reformulation. I would say that this is quite strong. Like like I said, when I first sprayed this, I just sprayed it in the air and I left the room and I could smell it in the next room. And when I was walking through my hallway where I sprayed it, it was filling up the hallway. So I will say that for me, one spray is gonna do it. I'm gonna be safe and do one spray. I think that's totally enough. I think it projects very loudly at the top. I just don't think that I've worn this one time before, after that. I think that this doesn't isn't quite as strong as people have been saying, but it's still a good one. Uh, longevity wise, I think this is gonna last you a whole work day without any problems whatsoever. Um, I think the performance it, reformulation, you know, be damned is, is completely fine. Um, so winter time, I think, although to me, this smells so nice that I think that I would wear it all year round. And, and uh, I do, like I said, I just have a, a decant here, but um, and I don't really buy full bottles of stuff because it's too expensive, but I, I would I would wear a full bottle of this probably. Um, I really like Rocha Man and like Michael Jordan Legend, which are basically the same scent. You know, those are two gourmands I really like. I might even like this more because that powdery, baby powderish kind of vibe that's lightly there in those fragrances is not here. They're not really the same smelling, but they're in the same category. I think I like this more. It's got more going on to it. Um... So I think it's good. I think that people often say, you know, it's a juvenile scent, you know, because it's a clubbing king. And like, uh, yes, like marketing is definitely pushing towards younger people to wear sweeter fragrances for whatever reason. Um, but I don't know if I'm down with that kind of, you know, terming, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I, I think that, you know, I think anyone could wear this. I think you really would just have to get your nose on it and see if it'd be something you'd like. I think that uh, this is something I would wear to work. Maybe not just because I would be slightly worried about it being too strong, but I'm certainly not worried about it being like a sweet feminine fragrance. Um, and let's be quite honest, like we always, you know, I'm going to call a spade a spade, but you know, on YouTube, a lot, a lot of videos are like compliment beast, compliment monster. This gets you the most compliments. 
I think we're all aware that in real life, we don't get as many compliments as we see people say on YouTube. So if you're worried about this being too feminine or someone saying something, I don't think anyone's gonna say anything because in the workplace and stuff like that, people generally don't really talk about your fragrance too much. They might think it smells good, they're just not gonna say anything. Not to say that you don't get compliments from time to time, I have, but I'm just saying that. I don't think there's anything to be worried about. Uh, just go ahead and try it. Um, your girlfriend might like it, or it, it have, she might find it too sweet. I think that my girlfriend probably would find this one too sweet, um, but I'm gonna still wear it. So that's Ultramall. This uh, is a kind of first impressions review of it. It's a very beautiful, juicy pear with a woody vanilla that does, does remind me a bit of Le Mans. There's a slight bit of cinnamon, and there's a tiny little bit of patchouli as it dries down and a woodiness that comes through. But all throughout, it's a very, very sweet fragrance. It does smell bubblegummy and juvenile at times, um, but I think that's fine. I think it's fine to, to, to wear shit like that. No fucking problem there. You know, whatever. Um, I'll have the, uh, more stuff coming for you guys. Um, if you guys have worn um, Tom Ford's uh, Vanilla Fatale, let me know because that was a free sample that I was sent and I don't have much experience with Tom Ford stuff, although it sounds up my alley. So let me know. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have not smelled this fragrance yet and it sounds interesting to you, I highly suggest you check it out because it is a very fun, uplifting fragrance to wear. I think you will enjoy it. Everybody have a great uh, day. Have a great holiday season. I'll be back soon with some more stuff for you. Peace out.